What I'm going to show you is how to use AutoSum and Average. And it's easy done. Let's say these are the months of school and these are the things you spent money-wise each month. Say it's clothes, jewelry, shoes, or whatever. Uh, iPods, CDs. Anyway, this is what you spent each month. Let's say you want to add all these up in Excel. Well, if you do it longhand, it's going to take a long time. First of all, let's make this easier to read. We're going to go to Borders, and we want to select all borders. Now it's easier to see. I want to save this, of course. Now the first thing I want to do is do an auto sum. I want to add all these numbers together in the total. I click in Total. Then I go up here to Auto Sum, click on it, and I press the sum button or the sum letter and it gives me this so I push enter and it comes up one thousand twelve dollars and sixty nine cents now when I hit enter it automatically went to average but I'm gonna click it anyway make sure I'm there now I'm gonna do average for all these months all the money you spent. I just want an average for each month. I go back up and go to auto sum, go to average, and it has this right here, but it's including the total, and I don't want the total included. So what I do, I go up and click August total you spent, and then I hold down the left button on the mouse, and I hold it down and I go to May. Release and then I hit enter. So the average for each month that you would spend each month would be $101 and approximately 27 cents you rounded off. That's how you use auto sum and average. Oh don't forget to save. So anyway that's it.